Hey guys, Jeff Rowe here from Ruthless TV. I'm here with Dead Cherub. Uh, we're down here at Rites of Passage in Melbourne. Cracker day, it's pumping along. There's a um, heap of people rolling in. Really, really enjoying myself so far. How you doing, uh, Brother Matt? What's going on? I'm good, man, I'm good. It's been a pretty intense weekend, hey? Yeah, no doubt. It's, like, it's coming strong and you know, it's the boys' first Oculus booth, so like, yep. We're really bringing the hell. It's a good fun. Pretty, um, pretty <laughs> impressive booth down there, man. Um, they, they've they've pulled out all the stops. Um, is it just you guys from Oculus, or you got a few few guests down there? Um, most of I think mostly Oculus guys, but we yep. got a we got a bit of a um collab going in the in the booth at the moment. So I think there's one or two homies from outside the shop coming yep. in to party. So yeah, yeah, awesome. That's good fun. It's like a six man collab. Yeah, okay. Like back piece. It's mental. Nice. Very nice. And mate, you've been doing some rad work. You, you obviously, um, you don't mind a bit of bio and whatnot. Just nah. tell us, where, where, what do you like? What, what's your, what Honestly, you go to? Black and gray, scary, weird, macabre, horror, you know, yeah. anything kind of twisted. Yeah, any, yeah, any, yeah. Any, anything that kind of, you know, get a bit of shock factor, you know, it's good fun. Yeah, nice. Like, whether it be, you know, like anything from like black and gray realism with horror and, you know, portraits and so on and so forth. But then I just yeah. throw my own little kind of twist little on twist. it and yeah. mess with it a bit. I dare, eyes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I dare say that's a, that's a fair twist. Um, your eyes, mate. How did they go? What, what's um, what, what was the um, what was the thought pattern first to getting them done? Honestly, I saw it online. Thought it was you know a bit of an internet troll. I'm like, surely we can't do that. And after a bit of research, I realised we could do that now. And I was like, I need it. Yeah. Like, instantly, it was there wasn't even a second thought. I was like, I need something like that. After a couple of years of you know doing my research and so on and so forth, and like just making sure that getting really, really like well known, like well acquainted with like the consequences and you know side effects if there is any or like you know long term effects, um, thought I'd just take the dive. Yeah, and got it done. And um, you know you you you're a tattoo artist. You're you're a quality tattoo artist. Bless so you. playing with your eyes must have scared the shit out well, of you. Yeah. What was the healing process? What? Um, honestly, it was like a day. Like wow. I had I had one day of minor light sensitivity. Um, again, like because it's it's more it's an injection, not necessarily a machine. Yeah. So like it um, it's not it doesn't heal like a normal tattoo. Plus it's your eyes, so that's a whole different ball game yeah, entirely. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just had one day of minor light sensitivity and I was back to work the next day after that. Awesome. And yeah, like good as gold. Being my eyes, it was pretty intense. Like it was a long thought process. You know, yep. I like waited up for a probably going on three, four years before I actually took the dive. Like, Excellent. I was like, I'd build the nerve and then I'd kind of chicken out a little yeah, bit yeah, and then yeah. I'd go for it. I'm like, nah, nah, next time, next time. But yeah, What eventually, about the general feeling? How the, how the hell did you go getting that needle in your su eye? Surprisingly painless. Wow. Like there's not many, like there's no, I think they're pain receptors uh, yep. in the sclera of your eye. Like they're minimal nerves or no nerves at all, I think. And um, yeah, so the actual action of it was painless. It was wow. like two out of ten at best. Like it was minor discomfort. Psychologically, it was like a twelve out of ten. Like just knowing that there was a needle coming towards my eye yeah. was the scariest moment of my life. Yeah, I like, bet. Like, like there's no preparing yourself for that. It's like the first tattoo all over again. Yeah. Like you can try and describe it, but unless you take the plunge, you don't know. Hats off to you. I don't know. I don't. I, I, I don't know <laughs> if I can do it or not. It's, um, not. it's not for everyone, but I love them. Yeah. 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 Okay, mate. Artwork. You. You. You know, you, you like your bio, you like your dark stuff. Who on Instagram and whatnot are you looking at? Who's uh... Oh, well, I've been like, you know, massive fan of, you know, Paul Booth and Henri Strom and so on and so forth. Like Josh Duffy, like yep. you know, the big names. Yeah, like the yeah, ones, of course. Like the ones that, you know, I've been following Paul Booth since, you know, I started getting into tattoos. Yeah. I remember seeing the flash at the, like, every shop I went into, like there's always a last rights flash. Yeah, yeah. Just fell in love with like that real evil shit. Yeah, I was yeah. Just like, yeah, that's the way. He is an evil, evil yeah. man, so good. Badass. Yeah. And um yeah, so like I started following them and as I got more and more into it, you know, you start to see like people that they're attached to. Yep. And like, you know, now I work with just some of the craziest black and grey artists yeah. in Australia. So you know, like you go into a shop every day and you're just like it's time to step up. It's on. Yeah, yeah, yeah like everyone, cool. everyone's, it's, 
everyone's super supportive yep. and like you know there's like a really good vibe in the shop so yeah, it's right. like everyone just wants to bring it like every day Okay, you, you just mentioned um, going to work and working with some guys. Is there any, you know, young up and coming artists that you know of that you want to give a quick shout out to? Someone that's, you know, got that work ethic and that want. That, Honestly, that man, see. like all the lads in the shop are just slaughtering it. Yeah, yeah. Like, you awesome. know, like Andrew Smith, Mill Young, yeah. like they, the younger lads and so on and so forth, and they're just kicking ass, yeah, taking yeah. names, man. It's insane. Yeah, Andrew Smith, I follow. He's um, yeah, he's killing. super chill dude as well. Like, yeah, right, <laughs> it's really funny, awesome. but um. Yeah, no, like the whole shop's just murdering it. Yeah, good. It's amazing. And, um, okay, yeah. um, a little bit of advice to a young up and comer. Anything? Anything to say to them. Um, just tr try and do the, like, literally just do the best you can. Like, don't compare yourself and don't, don't compare yourself to other artists and so on and so forth. Like, you, especially with the internet, like, there's so much Photoshop and so much, like, you know, tricks with the camera these yeah. days. And it's just like, you just got to concentrate on your work ethic, man. Like if you keep working at it like really hard and like, I mean like properly give it 110%, yeah. like, you know, you will, you're going to go, well. you're, you're going to go well. And like, you know, this industry is one of those things that, you know, as long as you keep putting into it, it will take care of you. Yeah. Like it's that give and take relationship with this yeah. thing. It's amazing. Yeah. And, um, I just say, it's just like, just respect the industry, yeah. you know, work hard. Yeah. You know, it's yeah, a good time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it is a good time. All right. Cheers. Good to have you, Dead Terror. Thank you very, Anytime, very much, man. brother. We'll Anytime. talk to you soon. Thanks, bud.